Hi beauties, it is Melissa Q. Welcome back. Hope you are having a great time on my channel. If you are new, I just want to welcome you. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Yes, because we are saving 10k. So today is the last day of fall. So I wanted to come with my finale of the finish five by fall. And then I will be starting uh, a week from now. I will be starting a new project with one of my girls here on YouTube. I'm so excited. This will be my first collab in a project pan so I'm really really excited about that and then I also have one month one palette and also pan that palettes yes times two so I do have those videos I'll link them over here and we are saving ten thousand dollars how are we doing that pray tell we are doing pan we're doing project pan we have project 250 empties that's including makeup hair body care anything beauty related and then we also have oh, these loud planes we also have can I do that and can I do that is actually keeping me out of the store seriously you guys because I am finding so many dupes in my collection and if I find a dupe I have to bank that money that I would have spent and so that's how we are building our bank up and we're saving and we're selling makeup so we have a couple of things going on all at the same time i'll link my poshmark down below if you want some pre-loved or even brand new items that i am currently selling in terms of makeup and beauty items that uh, I've done a declutter and some of the ones that i can sell some i'm donating and then some of them i'm selling on a blog sale so we got a couple of things going on, but let's get into this finale. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is that I totally finished the NARS. This is the translucent crystal. This is the pressed powder of the light reflecting setting powder. Now this is, I am declaring this as a gone because y'all, it just started to break up and it was looking crazy. So I actually enjoy having rolling project pans that means once something is out of the collection i actually bring something back into my project so the next thing i had was the sasha buttercup in the press form and i'm noticing that i really like my pressed powders to be in a uh, pressed powder form even if it's an under eye setting powder and I've already hit pan and this one, I'm probably going to roll this into my next project pan. If these are really easy, maybe I'll put something that's a little bit more difficult. I have not decided yet, but that one is going to be finished nine by new year's. I'm really excited about that one. So pressed powders, I have noticed go really fast with me. The next thing that I have made a lot of progress on is this Pink Swoon Blush by MAC and that's how it looks. I'm going to show you update one, uh, the intro, update one and two. And this is what I have for the finale. Really happy about this. I will be definitely done. I have been using this. This is rather powdery. Would I pick this up again? I already have something like this in my collection, so there's no need to pick it up. But once I'm done with this, at least I can take it back to MAC. The next item that I've made considerable pan on, and I had already hit pan, but I wanted to actually finish this off. I didn't finish it in this project, but I realized with my Hula bronzer, the type of tone that it is, I can contour my nose I contour my nose and I missed a little bit of what I could multitask this product for eyeshadow contouring my nose I was using it as a contour because it is kind of neutral but um, I will show pictures of intro update one update two and this is the progress that I made for the finale so I'm really happy about what I did in this. Now, I was already re reaching the pan here and extending it, but I was swirling my brush all the way around and getting really in there. 
with the dense brush and just really getting it in there, swirling it a couple of times, and then also taking a smaller brush, using it as a uh, as a transition shade. Those are great things for bronzers, so I'm really happy about that. I totally finished my Hangover Art X by Too Faced. I will show you. This is intro. This is update one, update two. This is actually gone, so I'm really happy about that. The next item, I did hit pan on this in my vanity palette, but I have a dip in here. So out of the two, I only hit pan in one. Trash. I only hit pan in one. But I'm still happy with the progress that I made in this. So I'll show you intro, update one, update two. And then this is the finale. This has just made me realize that I don't need as many eye primers as I think I do. But yeah, I really enjoyed this, but I don't really need any primers anymore between concealer and what I have already. I'm probably going to do some eye primer decluttering, honestly. And the last thing I did hit my goal in my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, and that was to get halfway. And I think mm, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit above half, but I'm happy with the progress. I am going to roll this over into my next project pan because I really do want to move this out of my collection. And this is intro. Actually, this is update one, two, and then this is because you remember I decluttered two products. I decluttered my Pro Matte and then I also decluttered something else that I can't remember right now that I didn't like. And I decluttered it. But anyway, this was the second foundation. So this is actually update one, update two. And between update one, uh, update two and now, I was using this all day. So I think if I were to bring in another foundation, I think I would do one on the weekend and then kind of have it strategic. But I use this nonstop. So I really do like this. I can only use this with a beauty blender and a moisturizing type of type of uh, primer because this will get dry on me but I learned that in order for it not to settle on my fine lines I have to use a beauty blender so that is how I use the serum -y type of foundation so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this finale I really learned some things that foundation takes a long time my powders I go through quickly and it really makes me think about the pro thought process of my eye primers which I really don't need anymore and even my eyeshadows like how many dupes can I come up with and how many palettes like how many colors in that palette I really really like let me know if you're starting any project pans or if you're on a no buy a low buy what you're not buying anymore let me know down in the comments and I'll see beautiful you in the next project pan because I'm definitely doing it again. <laughs> Bye guys. Bueno para mi. Okay, they're not good for us because um, at least for me, I'm, I saw a lot of high porosity girls. It was just like, I was like, the floodgates would just open. Open the floodgates of heaven. Yes, the floodgates opened up when I said wash and goes with a devil. Okay, if glycerin is the devil, wash and goes is a horse that the devil rode on.